The sunlight shines and shows holes in your face For goodness sakes, what a disgrace What does it take for sunset and nightfall To bring you back to life tonight? Yeah Set out to make uh, a city with no seasons. I I initially knew that I wanted to be something artistic. I wanted to be something that people really didn't think would come from me, something that they didn't really expect. I think that when it comes to rap, when it comes to hip hop, we don't we don't really think outside the box that much. We kind of we kind of play it safe. Like we know what our fans like, and so we we continue to make to stay in that lane and not really offer them something else because we're kind of scared there's there's a real thin line between genius and, and insanity and a lot of people don't really like to stay on that line they're they're really afraid to even play with the two um i knew that there were a lot of people who would, would think that i was crazy for a lot of the songs whether it be the titles or the concepts or the actual instrumentation of it. I know a lot of people think I was crazy for the title to the artwork, but then there would be a lot of people who also think that it was genius. So to stay on the line and somehow teeter between the two is kind of what I like to play with. Um, the actual title, A City With No Seasons, it, it pays homage to the city that raised me, uh, Los Angeles. The reason why is because it's just, I, I've, I've lived in Los Angeles my entire life, and it's just it's just one of those cities where it's just like, yo, I can wear, I can wear shorts and, and a t-shirt in July, and I can wear shorts and t-shirts in in December. And in in rap, it seems like our hometown is the first thing that comes out of our mouths, whether it be on a song, whether it be in an interview, we always tend to shout out our hometown. And I really wanted, I really wanted to talk about my hometown in a very artistic way without me having to shout it out on every song on my album. So I named it a city with no seasons to pay homage to where I came from. And then once that was stated, then I was able to focus more on the music and the message rather than always having to define where I come from. The the artwork of the album is really uh, inspired by um, Basquiat, who uh, was a great artist, a great painter, but he was very, he was one of the most highly debated about artists in the history of, of art because a, a lot of people felt that his art wasn't art. People felt that it was too elementary, like it looked, it looked as if a kid drew it or if a kid painted it and they felt that it wasn't art. But my definition, what, what I feel about that is, there's no such thing as wrong art. If I write something with my right hand and paint something with my left hand, of course my right hand is gonna look a lot better because I'm right-handed. But just because my left hand, maybe my lines aren't as straight or I can't color inside the lines, you can't tell me that it's not art. And that's what his, that's what his was. It was, it looked very elementary. But there was a reason why. There's a reason for everything. So I made my artwork like I did because you cannot tell me that just because the colors aren't colored inside the lines or the, or the lines aren't straight at all, that it's not art. That's the difference between art and math. Two plus two does not equal five. You say that and you're wrong. But because my circle is in a real circle, you can't say that I'm wrong because of that. 